dear friend, let me start with sharing my personal story with you, how God called me to salvation in Jesus. I hope that you will be blessed and edified. One of my aunts moved to Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, after her divorce. At that time, I also lived in Zagreb and was visiting my aunt very often. She rented a basement apartment on Amrusheva Street in downtown Zagreb. The meeting place of the Church of Christ was in the same apartment building, just above my aunt's. It was as if the Lord Jesus was calling and pointing out to me, here is a place where you will find me and your true family, my family of Christian believers. And that is just the way it happened. The Sunday morning, when I entered the church facility for the first time, I met a small group of Christians gathered there for worship. In an answer to my growing desire for friendship, for the people of God and for God Himself, I found myself in the midst of a hospitable and wonderful people. At that time, I was horribly thin, with long hair, my image of a poet, and painfully shy. So when the kindness, love, and acceptance were shown to me, they were like a soothing ointment on my wounded soul. They won my heart for Christ. Figuratively speaking, they were the light of Jesus that shone upon me. Thereafter, these Christians led me to a deeper study of God's Word. It was not long before I received Jesus as my personal Savior and was immersed in His death and gained His life. This was the greatest turning point ever to happen in my life. According to what the Bible says, I became a child of God, born again from above. Many in Jesus' day did not fully understand what His message meant. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Thus, one prominent Pharisee in the Bible, Nicodemus, was rather confused when Jesus emphasized that he should be born again from above by the Holy Spirit of God. Flesh gives birth to flesh, Jesus explains, but a spirit gives birth to the spirit. By spiritual birth, through the change of heart, man experiences a rooted spiritual change and begins to see the world with God's heart and act in God's way. The Apostle Paul addresses the believers as those who share in the heavenly calling at the beginning of the epistle to the Hebrews. We know that the Apostle himself had encountered the Lord in dramatic events at His calling from God during His journey to Damascus. A light from heaven flashed around Him and Jesus spoke to Him personally. Since then, everywhere He went, He invited those listening to Him to repent and prove their repentance by their deeds. Our repentant heart has the full right to that cry for the light from heaven. Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Lord. Let us come to believe deeply and strongly that the Lord Jesus, with the work of the Holy Spirit, are lighting up our innermost being with His Word. Let us take into our hearts the message of salvation from our loving Father in heaven. Then we will experience being born again into a new faith and new hope that brings to our life a turnaround from death to 
to life in Jesus. Let us come to trust to go through this world, not only as those who were born of earthly parents, but also as those whose inner being has been born of God. Oh, dear friend, is there desire growing in your heart for God's touch in your inner being? My prayer is even far more reaching, for I trust that through the Word of God you may experience the conversion and birth, which the Lord Jesus calls the birth by the Holy Spirit, so that you can joyfully say that you are partaker of the heavenly call and that you are born again of God. I pray to the Lord with a desire to have your new day come with the shout of the psalmist, O oh God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water.